All right, hackers. Today we look at the M5 Stack Faces development kit. This is based on the M5 Stack ESP32 based development system, which is super cute and modular. So let's check that out. Uh, we've got some little stickers and stuff. We've got a little lanyard. We'll see in a second what this thing actually is. Let's dig down to the bottom. Aha! Here we go. Uh, so this up here is the actual M5 Stack module. You can see that it's kind of stuck onto here. And down below here is a keyboard. And uh, that actually removes. So this is one of the faces. Ooh, ah. and I have to try and not demolish it with my clumsy fingers. Ah, ah, boy. <laughs> uh, I actually replaced the battery in this because the one that I had came uh, a little bit puffy. <laughs> so this uh, was not shipped to us by anyone. This was a gift from my friend Mohib, who is super awesome. And I am looking forward to actually hacking on these with him. So one of the faces is this little keyboard, as you saw. Then we also have a calculator. And we have a Game Boy uh, pad. So these each have their little pinout where it connects via headers um, to the main module here on these little guys, and they are labeled. That seems to me like it'd be pretty much useful if you're looking to create your own face. And then these are labeled as well. In, out, maybe reset something in ground. Uh, and yeah, you just press them on like that, and they stick together. Then, once you have this whole thing assembled, doo -doo -doo, you attach it to this magnetic stand if you want, which also acts as a charger. So it will turn on. So this uh, default code that it came with just shows you what the value of the letter you've entered is. So I could say A is 97, B is going to be 98, lowercase c is 99, uppercase A is 65, and so forth. We can also push space or enter or delete or whatever. And you can also upload firmware that will turn it into other types of cool little device. Uh, you can add this lanyard onto it, which I believe goes on the bottom here. You've got a Grove connector here, which is pretty cool. A uh, little USB-C guy for powering that on its own. And some I.O. over here that's really nicely labeled. So actually that's all the way around. You've got these I.O. pins that you can mess around with to connect sensors, actuators, all kinds of cool stuff. Turn it into a robot, whatever. So if we look on the website for this guy, You'll find the M5 stack general module information. See this, like turning it into a little e-stop with a 3D printed enclosure. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love how that looks. All kinds of different projects and stuff. If we look at the actual faces page on here, they have a ton of information about different stuff that comes with it. There's also a rotary encoder you can get, or a fingerprint scanner, a little joystick, an RFID one. You could make your own. Each have an integrated Mega328 chip from Atmel, so that when you press a button, a corresponding value hexadecimal format will be sent from the keyboard to M5 core, which is the little module. The keyboard and M5 core are communicating using R squared C, and the I squared C address of each keyboard is 0x08. Um, and they're going to be adding other keyboards to the Faces kit. You can program it through Arduino, IDE, or MicroPython, which I love! Also, besides the tech specs uh, about the ESP32 and stuff, there is also this pin map. Hooray! There's a number of tutorials already out there, including for burning an NES game from the M5 Stack docs themselves, and one from Demi from two years ago, also on doing NES games with this. Look at that, Baltron. I wonder what that is. I haven't really had a chance to play with this yet, so I'm still kind of as new to this platform as you are. But I'm hoping that we'll get to hack on it some with Mohib, as I mentioned before, and have some really cool stuff to, to show you. There's a Gameboy.eno sketch already to upload, and then also other examples like for the I2C keyboard. Overall, it seems like a platform with a ton of potential. I love the idea of just stashing this in a pocket. It feels super 80s. You just like go to the bus stop, stick it in your pocket, and then like play your games while you're waiting for your train or bus to come. Have you seen any cool uses for this? If so, post them in the comments below and I will be sure to check them out. I can't wait to hack on it and see what you've made as well.